Hi everybody, Michael De Rose here for Longshot Shooting School. Uh, today on this short video, uh, I want to show you the effects of the barrel's harmonic. Firstly, what is a barrel harmonic? Uh, when you fire with your rifle, uh, the pressure in chamber created by uh, the explosion of your cartridge uh, will be up to, let's say for a trioi, 60,000 pounds per square inch. So obviously that explosion will create vibration. So harmonic is a fancy word for vibration. All that vibration will go through your barrel and it will do it very fast. We're talking about 20,000 feet per second. So let's say the fastest bullet on market today are 4,000 feet per second. So the barrel harmonic is five times faster than the fastest bullet on the market. So today what I'm gonna do uh, just to show you how important it is to not break your barrel harmonic, you have to leave it work. You have to leave your barrel work with that vibration. If you put something onto your barrel, let's say you put your rifle, your uh, barrel, your rifle's barrel, pardon me, on a branch on a tree, you will break the barrel harmonic. So we'll see today what's gonna happen with that. Uh, so for the test today, I'm gonna put a uh, weight of one the middle of the rifle, at the end of the barrel, and then a two pound weight in the middle of the barrel and at the end of the barrel, and at the end I will put a three pounds weight at the very end uh, of the barrel, which is uh, the muzzle brake area. So we'll try that test and we'll see what's gonna happen. All right, so now the test is done. Uh, let's take a look. This is the first grouping without any weight on the barrel. So pretty decent grouping within a three quarter MOA at 100 meters. Afterwards, that's the grouping after putting a weight of one pound in the middle of the barrel. So as you can see, there's not much difference. Uh, the third one, the third one is maybe one inch above, uh, one inch below, pardon me. So one inch below and the weight, uh, the one pound weight was at the muzzle of the barrel. Uh, the fourth one, this one was a two weight, a two pound weight in the middle of the barrel. Right after the, that same weight, that same two pound was in the muzzle area. As you can see, there's a big difference. And strangely, there's one constant, one pound for one inch and here, at the, uh, where the weight, wa the weight was in the muzzle area. So we have a two, approximately two inches for two pounds. At the very end, the last test was to put a three pound weight at the very end of the barrel, so the muzzle area. And as you can see, we have a three inches of difference with the first one, with, which, is with, which was with nothing. So here, just keep in mind that the weight uh, was attached to a single point with uh, a metal wire and uh, so it was only one place, there was only one place on the barrel where the weight was and it's pretty much constant. So now I think after that video I will have more, for now I have more questions than answer. I will for sure uh, do more tests uh, to see what's gonna happen when you put the weight underneath the barrel like it's supposed to be when
For example, you put, uh, keep the, uh, the same example, when you put your barrel on a branch or on the tree when you're, uh, you're hunting. So we'll do more tests about that, but it's pretty interesting to see only with three pounds the difference of grouping uh, that you can have. The grouping is still tight, but it's three inches uh, below the aiming point. So if you have any question, you can reach us at www.longshotschool.ca or you can reach, reach me directly at info at longshotschool.ca. Thank you very much.